Hello everybody, what's going on? Declan Schwag is back with a Sony Vegas tutorial, and this is a pretty important one, at least to me. When I figured out the solution to it, it was a big relief, because uh, it was almost causing me to rip my hair out before. But, without further ado, let's get right into what it is. So, put into understandable terms, I was basically having problems with the Sapphire OFX or VFX plugins, and that is what this tutorial is for. If you don't have these plugins, this video doesn't even apply to you at all. So, anyway, what I was initially having problems with is this is the project or a render from my uh, school project, my school rap project, which you can check out in the description. But um, as you can see, when I did the zoom, instead of going center, which is what I had planned in the initial project file, you can see that it is rendering and going to the side or into the corner. So it zooms in, goes to the corner, settles in, and then it zooms out from the corner again here, which I did not want it to do. So this problem also applied in my MLG parody video that I did, where I did a little shake on Eli's name, and as you can see, the two E's in Eli are separated. They were supposed to be on top of each other, but it rendered incorrectly and gave me this little separation, which I never fixed. But I finally figured out how to fix it. So what I have right here is a in-project example of an edit, and as you can see, it looks like it's center and it works great. It looks like it should turn out to be fine, the zoom should be centered and everything, but here's what it would look like if I rendered the project right now. As you can see, it's still going off to the center and does not look good. So, there's actually only two things that you have to do to make this fix, and they're extremely easy. You have to get this preview window, preview resolution, the same as your project resolution, and you just have to render at the same resolution as both of, the, both of those. So, to make this preview resolution not this strange 480 by 7 or 270, you just right click, go to preview device preferences, go up to video, and then just check display at project size, and then click apply. Hit OK, and you'll see that these both line up now and are the exact same. Perfect. So, that should will be a default setting that will just apply once you open a new project. And to make sure that it still works, because if you still go to file and render, and you render it in 720p, it will still give you the going to the corner visual instead of going th straight through the center. So you'd have to render in 1080p. And I don't want to overwrite the file. So this is a fairly short tutorial, and I'll be quite surprised if it actually helps anyone because it's such a different topic. It's really, really, really specific. But if it did, I'm glad to have helped. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.